We have reported stories of teachers in the past having sex with students, but new here tonight, what about when sexual abuse at a school is committed by another child? You may find these details of this investigation disturbing. Here now, what the night team's Brian Enton uncovered. They won't show up in a computer search of sex offenders, but they are out there, and they are dangerous. They're students sexually harassing or committing sex offenses against other students. And it's not just happening in high schools. These are kids in middle, even elementary schools. And parents need to be on alert. It's unacceptable. It is unacceptable for an adult. It's damn sure unacceptable for another child to do it to another child. It's a big deal in the school, especially in the school. School districts are required to report sexual misconduct to the Florida Department of Education. 132 sexual incidents were reported in Miami-Dade for the 2015-2016 school year. In Broward, that number is 480, the second highest of any county in the state. And we're certainly not talking about playing doctor or nurse here. I mean, um, some of these, if you've looked at the reports, um, are indescribable and most people would have to turn their head away. Reports of kids exposing themselves, groping other kids, and worse. In a Miami-Dade elementary school, a fifth grade student admitted he touched two kindergarten girls in the cafeteria. He offered them cookies while he touched them. A middle school student said her friend told her a male student grabbed her hair, pulled her down to her knees, and made her perform oral sex. In a Broward Elementary School bathroom, a student was heard asking, are you ready to get raped? Also in Broward, a male middle school student reportedly pulled a young lady into the girl's restroom stall against her will, lifted her shirt, grabbed her breast, then pulled her pants down and touched her. I think that, you know, inappropriate sexual behavior has always existed. I do believe that, you know, we may have an increase because of the exposure at a very early age. Broward prosecutor Maria Schneider says some sexual aggressors are victims of abuse themselves. Others are exposed to sexual material on cell phones and computers. But what is so shocking is that very young children are committing horrible crimes. I believe it was a 10 and an 11 year old a number of years ago in an elementary school who um, forced uh, another child about the same age into um, a bathroom stall and proceeded to rape her. Schneider, who heads up the juvenile unit of the state attorney's office, says parents need to talk to their kids. You run the risk that your child might either not know that something is inappropriate or might not know to tell you about it. Miami-Dade schools say they have seen an overall decrease in the total number of sexual incidents over the last four years. Broward schools say they do everything they can to keep students safe and they involve law enforcement when necessary. Brian Enton, 7 News. And if you want to check the number of incidents at a particular school, we have a link to the state data at WSVN.com. And if you think there's something 7 News should investigate, give us a call at the numbers on the screen there or send an email to clue at WSVN.com.